friends, glad to see you again. Last week we made a video about the misunderstandings of our products. The purpose of this video is not to complain but to remind everyone to contact us when you find the problem so that we can make sure if it is a product problem or a usage problem. And we can offer you some solutions. This time we have sorted out some questions that the customers often ask and hope it can help you. Okay, let's go. The first question, can RD power supplies be used in series or in parallel? You can use one power supply to power on one RD power supply or several power supplies like the picture I put on the screen. But the output must be used independently. They cannot be used in series or in parallel. Just like the picture I showed to you. Otherwise, it will damage the power supply itself. The second question How to choose input power for RD power supplies? You know, we have a series of power supplies. Normally, we recommend switch power supplies as input and uh, most switch power supplies can be used directly. For example, the input of DPS 5005, you can choose a 48 switch power supply. And for, and for DPS 5015 and DPS 5020, you can choose a 60 volt switch power supply and uh, adjust to 55 volt and uh, 60 volt so that you can get our supply power supply for output it should be noted that the RD DPS series and the DP series are step down power supplies it is necessary to ensure that the input voltage needs to be 1.1 times higher than the output voltage and the DPH series are arc boost power supplies, so it doesn't matter. Of course, you can choose some AC to DC power models as inputs. It's okay. The third question, how to connect the UM tester APP to the tester? The connection between Android and the Apple mobile phone is different. In short, Android app needs to connect twice, while iPhone only needs to connect once. Okay, and you can see the Bluetooth light is on. For Android application, you need to go to the system Bluetooth and find UM25 search. Okay, you can see it's here is UM25C and then connect. Import 1234 and click OK. You can see it can be connected. Then we return to the UM meter and uh, click this Bluetooth icon and choose this UM25. You can see here connected to UM25C. And uh, for iPhone, you just need to open the application and click find. You can see UM25C here and then click this switch.
and a succeed. The fourth question, can I use a solar panel as an input of the RD power supplies? I'm afraid not because the output voltage of the solar panel is unstable with the change of the sunshine. It is recommended to connect the solar panel to a controller, then connect them to our power supply, so that you can get a constant voltage. The fifth question, does RD digital power supply has output reverse protection? Yes, we have, but if you want to charge a battery, Reverse connection is not allowed because the battery has electricity. You can connect the battery to the output directly. But for safety, I suggest you to add a protection device as the picture I put on the screen. It is a protection device when you use a DPS 5020 to charge our battery. The sixth question The differences between DP, DPS, and the DPH series power supplies. The first difference DPS series are the updated version, the panel is different. In DPS series, you we change the M1 up and the M2 down into voltage up and the current down. So that you can set the voltage and current fast. We add a new function, set default boot open or close output. Which means you turn on the power and it can output directly or you can choose no output. Others are not changing. The second difference, all those power supplies can charge batteries directly. But for safety, I suggest you to add a reverse protection device. DP power supplies and DPS power supplies are all bulk converter, which means they are step down power supplies. DPH series power supplies like DPH 3205 and DPH 5005, they are back boost power supplies, which means the output voltage can be higher or lower than the input voltage. The last difference is DPS 3005, DPS 5005, DPS 5015. DPS 5020, DPH 5005, and the DPS 8005 has communication version. You can connect them to PC and use PC software to control. The seventh question What are the differences between UM, AT, TC series tester? According to the name, TC series are used to test Type C interface. There are two testers, TC64 and TC66. The TC66 has more functions than the TC64, and there is a communication version TC66C which supports uh, PC software and uh, mobile phone app. You can see the comparison chart here, and uh, you can see the difference says at the product detail page. And uh, the UM tester has three types, UM24, 24C, UM25, UM25C, UM34, UM34C. The communication version has a C in their name. The UM24C has no iPhone app. And uh, 
UM34 C has no PC software. And you can see the comparison chart here. It can show you more data. And it is 34, it is 35. You can regard it then as a simplified version of UM testers. Just like TC64, they have only two interfaces. They have no PC software, no application, and uh, the accuracy and the resolution of AT35 is higher than AT34. AT35 has 5 degrees display and AT34 only has 4 degrees display. The specific data can be viewed here. The eighth question, why is there sometimes no current in the TC64? Unlike TC66, the TC64 only supports one-way current passing. We can see there is an arrow on the front, which means the current can only pass in this way. So you cannot connect it in the wrong direction. Okay, there are eight questions which are often asked by our customers because new customers are unfamiliar with our products series. So we talk about the difference between different products and this difference is mainly focused on the technical parameters. We also talk about the usage of our products. I hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.